Today, we're going to take a look at how to create your own MCP server that goes back, not to the full scheme in the database, but to a single database object like a table, table comments, or maybe some logic that you had in a procedure for years. Now, this is designed to be something that you can follow along with as a sample. Um, I would encourage you to watch the video first. Uh, this was done on Windows 10. And to replicate what I'm doing today, you will need to perform these setup steps. So to get started, we're going to go out to our autonomous AI database, and we're actually going to open up the SQL window and create a user called, called players that we will use for today's demo. We're going to make sure we grant DW a role to players so we can connect and resource and all that, and then we're going to give unlimited table space to them. OK, with that done, we can go out to Visual Studio Code. And I would encourage you to clone down the repo. Uh, and what we want to do next is create a connection back to our, our player's database. Here we're going to choose Cloud Wallet. Uh, and we're going to go out and choose the location uh, where we downloaded our wallet when we set up the Insta client as one of the prereqs. We want to grab the zip file there. And we'll go ahead and test our connection. All right, we see it pass. So we'll save that. And we can come down here, connect in. And we want to open up SQL Worksheet. Now in the Git repo, we give you the code to build a table called Team Stats. We're going to add a bunch of comments to the columns and the table itself. We're going to insert some sample data. And finally, we're going to create a procedure called MyStats. OK, once all that's done, you can close this out. We don't need to save it. Let's go back up. Uh, we want to open up our demo.profile. This will kind of be used in our Git Bash window um, later on so that we have all the connection strings correct to get to our database. OK, once that's updated, go ahead and hit Save, and you can close that out. Next, we want to go out. Let's go ahead and open up a new terminal. And we want to make sure that we have a Git Bash window opened. Sometimes it'll default to PowerShell. And we want to go ahead and source our profile. And once we do that, we can test our source just by doing an echo on one of the commands and make sure we get back the expected result. OK, next we're going to need to install uh, the required Python libraries. All right, to make things a little bit easier to explain today, what we're going to do is create a new file. We're just going to call it 26ai.py. And we're going to start writing out our Python code for MCP server. Now I'm going to go through this a little bit slower. You can generate most of this with a code assist. But first thing we need to do is import uh, fastmcp. Uh, we need to import typing, uh, and this specifically the annotated library, and then the Oracle DB. All right, next we'll simply add in uh, MCP, and we'll call fastmcp with the name of our MCP server. OK. We want to make our connection back to the database. And please notice this will call your demo profile to get the information of the wallet, uh, password, user, all of that sort of thing. Now with FastMCP, it's super easy. Uh, we're going to define our MCP tool. We're going to give it you know, what we want the tool name to be, what the description is. And the descriptions are actually important, so the OMs know uh, with multiple tools where to go. We can add some tags, uh, version it. And then down here, we'll simply make our connection to the database. We'll execute this query. And then we're going to return all the information uh, essentially for a player name. So they'll import a name. It'll query this information and bring it back. OK, and the last line of code before we're up and running uh, is going to be to drop in this. And this just defines the transport. So we want to say we're going to call the MCP via HTTP on, on port 80. So go ahead and hit Save on this. Uh, and now we can essentially run our MCP server. 
Okay, that's up and running. So how do we test it? All right, um, you're gonna see over here a program called Chips Client. Okay, um, this is one simple way to test um, and the code to test is relatively easy. So what we wanna do here is make an async call. Uh, we wanna get our player stats. That's the tool that we just created. We're gonna pass in a player name. Uh, then we're gonna run it down here and pass in the player tank. So go ahead and save that. Now I'm gonna open up a new bash profile window. Let's go ahead and source it. We can go ahead and call it. There we go. And it's returning uh, just that player's information through our MCP server. Now let's build on it to make something a little bit more advanced. All right, the next block of code we're gonna put in is gonna add a second tool. And let's walk you through what we're doing here. We've got a tool that's called get players uh, average and on base percentage. Okay, the tool is gonna take various inputs including the number of walks and hit by pitches, sacrifices, hits, and at bats. What you'll notice here is we do have annotations for each of the inputs. Uh, this will help the LLM understand what to do with the data, as well as a little bit of extended annotations at the top here because we are calling a procedure. Now to call the procedure, uh, much like before, we're gonna make our connection to the database. We will create uh, variables to collect our output. We will make a call to our procedure mic stats that we created earlier with both the input variables and the output variables. And then we will format the result into three digits, which is very common formatting for this baseball stat. So now we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And we're gonna go back to our first Python window. We're gonna close down the server and then reopen it. So it'll pick up the new code. We're gonna go back to our client here. And I'm gonna go ahead and comment out the first example in the client and we'll uncomment the second. Let's save. Call our client again. And we can see that in this particular case, the individual's batting average was 200 based on that data and the on-base percentage is 308. Okay, we're gonna add one more tool to our MCP server for this particular example. And this tool is gonna to be a little simpler. It's gonna simply say input the table name in the schema, and we're gonna get back all the table comments uh, for that particular table. And this is will be useful a little bit later on when we leverage a client to call multiple tools in a single question. So I'll go ahead and save this. We can go back out and start or stop our server. Let's go back to our client. And we'll just test this one as well. So our third client call is right here. This time it's gonna bring back a much larger payload of all the database uh, comments that we added on the particular table. With this all set, we're now ready to uh, go out and configure this inside of our uh, VS Studio code so we can call the Copilot chat. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this URL right here. We're gonna go up under our .vs code folder, our .mcp.json file, click add server. Paste in that URL and hit enter, and then we're gonna give it a, a, a name. Typically, I like to restart it once just to be sure. Go out to our terminal. Everything looks good there. So we're ready to open up our chat. 
can go down here and we can look at the MCP server. So you can see the one that comes from Oracle with the SQL CLI. Uh, and you can also see the one that we just created with the three tools that we created. Let's go now and take a look at some of the things you can do with the new tools uh, that you've created. So for starters, we can go here and we can hit pound and we can begin to select the tools we want to work with. Let's select all three to set the context and then we're going to ask you just a simple question. Let's go ahead and describe the A, B, and H columns. It'll ask us if we want permitted to use uh, the particular tool so it recognizes it. brings back our column comments. Now we'll just get a slightly more complex. So we're going to say get all the stats for the player called Tank, and then calculate his batting average and on-base percentage. So we can see here it's going to do a search for the get player stats. All right, he got the result, the result there. and then returned both his batting average and on base percentage. All right, now the last question that I commonly get is, well, how would I deploy this, right? So let's say I build my MCP and my tools. How could I deploy it as a Python application? There are lots of ways you could do it. Uh, one particular way would be this reference architecture that showcases uh, how to access an autonomous backend database with a load balancer, internet gateway, and auto scaling of web servers across vault domains. So I will include this link as well uh, in the bottom of my markdown.